Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to activate and use the study summary window in the Sierra Chart platform. Now, the study summary window is one of the newest features added to Sierra Chart, and it creates a lot of ease of access for users of the platform. Essentially, the study summary window provides a table view of the study subgraphs of the charts in an open chart book. Now, essentially, this means it is a collection of windows that it displays necessary information. So overall, the study summary window is a convenient location of all the studies added to your charts in one convenient location. Now, the study summary window isn't as direct as some of the other features of the platform, so the setup process may be confusing the first couple times you try and go about this. But because of that, I'll be making a step-by-step -step guide on how to do so. First up, we need to open up a chart. So to the right of the green connection bar on the top of the left-hand corner of your screen, you'll find the Find Symbol button. Search for the symbol of the chart that you would like to open up for. In my case, I'll be doing the E-mini S&P Futures of June 2018. And like I said before, this feature must work with a chart active. So because of that, I'll open up an intraday chart. We can close out the Find Symbol button now. And now we'll need to add a study to our chart, as this is the study summary window. So to do that, head to the top left-hand corner again, and click on Analysis. And then click on Studies. On the left-hand side of our screen, we have an entire list of studies here that we can add to our charts. And for the Study Summaries window, this does not matter. Just select the study you would like to add, and we can go from there. So for my example, I'll be using the ADX study. Highlight it and then click on the Add button. Once you've added it, go over to Settings. And then on the bottom left-hand corner, we'll click on the Include in Study Summary. Now this should be active by default, but for whatever reason, if it's not, make sure you click it and have it highlighted. You can click Apply. And then to the right of that, in the new, another tab, the Subgraphs tab, we're going to go into that. And then below our list of studies here, underneath the color selection, to the right of that, you'll see an Include in Summary. Again, make sure this is checked off or highlighted. Click Apply. Click OK. And then click OK once more. So now that we have a study applied to our chart, let's open up the study summary window. To do this, head over to the top left-hand corner of our screen, click on the File tab, move over to the right-hand side of the column, and click on Open Study Summary Window. And as you can see, we currently have our one study applied, showing the E-mini of June 2018. And if we drag and click on anywhere in the study summary window, we can expand the window even greater. And we can get some different things here being displayed, some general information about our graphs, such as the daily change, the bid and ask price, bid size, ask size, volume, the open amount. And on our far right, we can see the condition that we applied, or the study that we applied, excuse me, the ADX. Now, the best thing about the study summary window, in my opinion, is the convenience of it. You can add multiple different charts with multiple studies attached to them, and they're all located in one convenient location. And the best part is, you can swap back and forth between charts and studies on the fly easily. So I'll show you that, for example. I'll close out the study summary window for now, and I'm going to open up a new chart. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do the E-mini of Japanese Yen on the June 2018. I'll open up another chart. And I'm going to apply a different study to it. So we'll go back to analysis. We'll go to studies. For this one, let's say I'll add the ask volume. I'll go back to settings. I'm going to check that I included it in my summary summary study summary. I have it checked. I'll go to sub select settings and inputs. Once again, the include in study summary is applied. I will click the apply button myself. As you can see right here, 
it has now been applied to my chart. I'll click OK, click Apply just in case, and click OK once more. Now normally you would be able to swap back and forth between charts using the bottom left hand tabs over here. As you can see I have my number one chart which was the E-mini S&P and now my number two chart is the E-mini Yen. And you can swap back and forth this way. Or you can also go through the study summary window. Go back to file, click open study summary window. And now by double clicking on the chart you would like to specify, you can easily open it up through there. So as you can see in the background here, I currently have my number two chart open, the E-mini Yen. If I now double click on the E-mini S&P chart in my study summary window, as you'll notice behind this screen here, it will change on the fly. And you can easily access multiple charts here. As you can see, there's multiple different columns and tables here where you can easily populate with charts and different types of studies. And you can mix and match too. You can have different charts with different studies, same charts with different studies, etc. It's worth noting that you can have the same symbol for the same chart multiple times applied here. But in the case of the study summary window, it will not be displayed. Again, you can have the same chart with the same study applied multiple times for whatever reason you may need it for, but it will not be displayed in the study summary window. So if you're confused on why it's not displaying, that would be the purpose. Finally, one of the major components of this feature is the fact that charts and studies that have alert condition formulas applied to them that result in a true statement actually display here on the study summary window with a unique color. So for example, as I mentioned before, this feature is very useful for multitasking. And if for whatever reason you may have this in the background or on a separate window, and you notice a color change within the study summary window, that immediately alerts you that one of the alert condition formulas have been set off to be true. So it may be necessary to place a trade. So now to change this color so you are familiar with it, head over to the top of the window and where your file tab is, head over to the right to the global settings tab now. Scroll down to the left hand side on the graphic settings global and scroll all the way down. Scroll just a bit up and look for study summary. As you can see, there's a multiple different features here that we can customize within this study summary. We have the background color we can change, the grid lines, the selected row color, which is this right here, this orange, or the alert true background color. If we click on the color here, we can change it to whatever we like. So if our con alert condition formula is set off to be true, we'll immediately be notified that the formula has been set to true and we may need to place a trade. So, like I said, you can set it to whatever color you want, maybe something that stands out so you will notice it. If your formula does strike true, click OK, click Apply, and then once again, click OK. So now if one of your studies has a formula applied to it and it takes true, within one of the boxes here, most likely in your study box, the corresponding color that you picked will change. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.